Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here is your 5-Minute Tip for this week. So I want to show you two apps that you can use in Canva. Remember that some plans in Canva, you can do stuff and some that you can't. So if you're on the free plan and you're an educator, definitely come to plans and pricing and make sure that you go to educator pricing because you can get it for free if you are in education. So yay, make sure you hook that up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just create a blank design and I'm going to scroll all the way down to apps. Now, do not sleep on these apps. There's so many awesome apps that you can use. And then you can scroll down and there's more. So definitely play around with them and see what they do. So the two that I'm going to look at today are Character Builder and Text to Image. So those are the two that we're going to look at. And you notice that they're already over here. That's because I've used them at least once. So looking at Character Build, Notice that you can build your own characters. What? So you always have the little arrow where you can see more, but you can always click on see all. So I can go ahead and pick my hairstyle back, and then I can come here and choose my face. I want them to smile. And then I can come here and choose my body. There you go. And then I'm going to go back, and then I can choose my skin tone. So I'm always very appreciative when it's inclusive and notice that you have the add a new color so you can come here and add a new color and then you have hairstyle as well so you can come here and of course you also have add a new color so that is building a character so i'm going to go ahead and click done so i do want to show you one thing you know how sometimes you can click on a picture and you can you know like change their their clothing or change you know that kind of thing on here you can't so if you go ahead and click on the image you'll see added image but this is just like different frames and things like that so it's not going to allow you to like change the color of the clothes and things like that so you see you have the little color bar here but that's only for your background so just keep in mind when you are choosing the body you get the color that you see on the screen Another thing that I've noticed when I'm doing this is that it takes a second for it to allow me to move them around. So that may just be my computer, uh, but you see like it kind of moves to the side. So it takes a second to kind of activate and then I can move them and make them smaller and all that good stuff. So there you go. So now I'm going to show you text to image, which is a really awesome tool to help you create the images that you want to create using AI. So for example, if I put girl on playground, so I'm just gonna go ahead and type in, that's what I'm looking for, a picture of a girl on a playground. It's going to come here and create those images for me. Now I do wanna warn you that if you create images that has faces in it, sometimes those faces can be distorted. So if you keep it small, it's usually like a-okay and it's fine. But once you kind of dig deeper into it, sometimes they can be a little distorted. That one's actually pretty okay. Um, but sometimes they can be a little distorted. So just keep that in mind, okay? So a little distorted, okay? So you can also use, you know, gender and race. So if I wanted to say black girl on playground, notice I have a generate more button. So even if I like these and I didn't want to put a race or anything like that, I can just click generate more and it'll generate some more. But I want to go ahead and, you know, do that so i'm going to do generate more so notice i was able to kind of update it and then just click generate more so i, I can just click generate more and let it do whatever it's doing or i can change it right then and there so there you go so then i can come once i you know do what i want to do i can also come and start again so it looks really good when you choose uh let's say rainbow over lake for example and get creative. So I can say rainbow over purple lake because remember, it is creating this for you. So if I'm like, yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I can come here. And one of the cool things that you can do is you can make it a background. So I can come here to the three dots and say set image as background. So a really awesome way to make really unique backgrounds that you of course can just go to, you know, all of your stuff you can add and start adding stuff on top of it. So really, really awesome way to do backgrounds. 
So notice they give you some ways to get started. So if you're like, I don't know where to start, you can say, hey, I'm looking for a Pando. Sure. And you can come here and then click enter and it will do that for you. And then you have the different styles down here. So if I'm looking for a photo or a painting, so our 3D image, you can come down there and do that. And you have your aspect ratio. So for example, if I say I'm looking for a portrait and I'm looking for a purple unicorn, why not if I can spell unicorn? There we go. Uh, so now I'm going to get a purple unicorn, right? So last thing with this is if you find an image and you're like, oh, you know what? I really like this, but, uh, you know, I don't want to use it right now. You want to add it to your project because once I generate more or start again, these are going to go away. You may not get the same images ever again. So if I wanted to add this or use it at some point, I'm going to go ahead and click it and add it to here. What that does is it puts it, you see how it's uploading? It puts it in your uploads. So the only ones you have in your uploads are the ones that you actually add to the project. Now I can delete it. I'm, I don't want to use it right now, right? But it's always going to be here in my uploads. Now I feel like, oh my goodness, I have all these random pictures in my uploads because I was just playing around. You can come here to each one, click on the three dots, and you can move it to the trash, which I will do after this video. So there you go. Now you know how to use Character Builder and Text-to-Image in Canva. Good luck.